Namaskaram. In this course, we will discuss four methods for solving partial differential equations. Direct integration, Lagrange's method, Tarpitz method and method of separation of variables. In this session, we will solve some problems by direct integration. Next, we are going to solve PDEs. First method is direct integration. Solve dz by dy is equal to 7. Integrate this equation with respect to y. Then we get so z is equal to 7y plus a constant. For this example, here the integration is with respect to y. So this constant is a function of x. Okay, because if you differentiate this with respect to y, then this time becomes 0. Here the solution of this PD is z is equal to 7y plus some c of x. This is the general solution of this PD because this solution involves one arbitrary function c. Yes, this is the solution. So it is equal to 7y plus f of x where f is an arbitrary function. The next problem, solve this differential equation. d square z by dx dy equal to xy where z 0 equal to sin y and z x 0 equal to e raised to x minus. So first we have to solve this PD. Then we apply these two conditions. Okay. So solving this PD, we integrate this equation with respect to x and y. So first we integrate this equation with respect to x. Integration is with respect to x. So square by 2, we treating y as a constant plus a constant of integration. Here we integrate with respect to x. So constant of integration is function of y. Next we integrate this equation with respect to y. So this becomes here x square by 2 is a constant. So this becomes y square by 2. Integral p of y dy. Now the integration is with respect to y. So the constant of integration is a function of x. Again here this integration is with respect to y. And this is a function of y. So after integration the whole thing becomes another function of y. So the solution is equal to function of y. Here f and g are arbitrary functions. Okay. So this is the general solution of this problem because it involves two arbitrary functions. Next we have to find a particular solution satisfying these two conditions. This is our equation number one. The first condition is okay, this condition is z0 y equal to sin y. z0 y equal to sin y. If you substitute x equal to 0, left side becomes sin y. sin y equal to this time is 0. When x equal to 0, this is 0. This is remains gy g of y plus x equal to 0. So this is of 0. This implies g of y equal to sin y minus the condition uh, z 0 equal to e raised to x minus 1. So substituting y equal to 0 in 1, we get left side become e raised to x minus 1. Okay, when y equal to 0. Right side become this is 0. This g of 0. g of 0 plus of x. Implies of x is equal to raised to x minus 1 minus and g of y inverts f of 0. Now we have f of x. So what is f of 0? So f of 0 equal to, we simply substitute x equal to 0. So e raised to 0, e raised to 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is minus g of 0. So f of 0 is minus g of 0. We can replace this f of 0 by minus g of 0. So what about this quantity? So this portion become plus g of 0. Right. Now we are ready to write the final solution. The final solution is that is at xy equal to y square by 4 plus what is g of y? g of y is sin y plus g of 0. This is our g of y plus what is our f of x? raised to x minus 1 minus g of 0. So this is g of 0, this is minus g of 0 in cancel. So the final solution is x square y square by 4 plus sin y plus e raised to x minus 1 is the final answer. The okay, next problem solve this partial differential equation with these two conditions. 
Suppose this is a this is an ordered differential equation. That means Z is a function of x alone. Then this differential equation become. Then how to solve? This is familiar to us. Okay, we simply write the auxiliary equation. And solve this auxiliary, we get m equal to plus or minus i. So what is the solution corresponding to this of e? Z is equal to e one cos x plus e two sin x. Okay, this is the solution corresponding to this OD. <coughs> but here Z is not a function of x. Here Z is a function of x, y. So what about this arbitrary constants? Arbitrary constants are functions of y. So the solution, the general solution of this PDE become one of y into cos x plus c2 of y to sin x. Then Next, we are going to apply this first condition. That means when x equal to 0, z becomes erased y. Substitute x equal to 0. What happened? So when x equal to 0, left side becomes erased y. Here, when x equal to 0, this is 1. So this is even of y. x equal to 0, this time becomes 0. Okay. So even of y is erased y. Next condition is first derivative at 0 is 1. So we have to find the first derivative of this solution. So what is the first derivative? With respect to x, derivative of cos x become minus sin x. So this is derivative of sin x is cos x. Then the condition, take the first derivative, then put x equal to 0. So again, when x equal to 0, implies what? Left side become 1, 1 equal to when x equal to 0, sin 0 becomes 0. And when x equal to 0, this is 1. So this becomes c2 of y. So c2 of y is 1. So this is our general solution. We have to find a solution satisfying all the conditions. Okay. Substituting these two, c1 and c2 in this one. So what is the final solution? C equal to c1 is e raised to y. So e raised to y into cos x plus c2 is 1. It is 1, 1 into yes, is equal to sin x plus e raised to y into cos x is the final solution. Okay, next problem solve dq is by dx square dy is equal to cos 2x plus dy. So, first we integrate with respect to x, then what happened? Integral of cos that is sin 2x plus 3y divided by 2 plus an arbitrary constant here integration with respect to x so arbitrary constant is function of y again we integrate with respect to x and what happened integral of sine that is minus cos divided by 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 plus integral of f of y with respect to x what happened here f of y is a constant of y into x plus a constant of integration. Again, here integration is with respect to x, so constant of integration is a function of y. Next, we integrate this expression with respect to y to find z. Left side become z equal to integral of cos is sine minus sine divided by 3 because this integration is with respect to y. So, 3 into 4 is 12. Integration is with respect to y. So what happened? This becomes x is a constant into integral of y dy plus integral g of y dy plus a constant of integration. Now the integration is with respect to y. So constant of integration is, is a function of x. So the final solution is it is equal to minus sin of x plus 3y divided by 12 plus x into the function of y integration with respect to y so after integration this become again a function of y let it be u of y similarly this is some v of y so this is the final solution this is a general solution because this solution involves three arbitrary functions
these are the homework problems uh, in next class we will discuss lagrange's equation and how to find the general solution of lagrange's equation okay thank you